This is it, it's one round with George. I'm George Jakovic. I'm giving you one round, three minutes of everything that I wanna talk about in boxing. This weekend, it's a huge matchup between welterweight champion Terrence Crawford and challenger Showtime Sean Porter. These are the kind of fights we want to see great fighters fight. Of course, everyone's wanted to see Terrence Crawford face off against Errol Spence. It hasn't happened, but he's got Showtime Sean Porter who gave Spence the toughest fight of his career two years ago. And speaking about Errol Spence, Spence hasn't been in the ring since December of 2020 when he defeated Philadelphia's Danny Garcia. He had eye surgery, a detached retina. He's been cleared to fight and hopefully he'll fight the winner of Crawford and Porter. And in keeping with the welterweight division, one of my favorites, since my favorite fighter is Sugar Ray Leonard, the future of the division looks like it's going to be Jerron Boots Ennis. He fought a day before Halloween and he's never looked better. And he scored a spectacular one round knockout of Thomas Delorme. Boots has everything. He's got speed, he's got power, and I can't wait to see him fight one of the names in the division. And Canelo Alvarez came off a spectacular win against Caleb Plant to become the unified, undisputed champion at 168 pounds. Canelo just announced he was moving up in weight to fight cruiserweight champion Ilunga Makabu, not exactly a household name. A lot of people have a problem with this. Look, Canelo can do whatever he wants. He's adding to his resume, he's getting another title. And Makabu, let's not be mistaken, he's not a version of Evander Holyfield or James Tony at Cruiserweight. It looks like a relatively safe opponent for Canelo, but he is moving up in weight. The only name I recognize on Makabu's record is Tony Bellew. They fought in 2016. Makabu did knock Bellew down in the first round. He's a southpaw, so he's got some power. Bellew came back to smoke him and knock him out in the third round. We'll see what happens when they fight. Obviously the fight everyone wants to see is Canelo against David Benavides. And as a boxing fan, of course, I'm a huge Rocky fan. A must see for Rocky fans. Sylvester Stallone just came out with the director's cut to Rocky IV. It's a really, really interesting new take on, on the movie. It does have 40 minutes of new footage. I love what they did with Apollo Creed. I love what they did with Drago. And if you dig a little deeper on YouTube, they filmed a behind the scenes doc of Sylvester Stallone as he was cutting the movie, which is almost as entertaining as the movie itself. <laughs> and congratulations to Clarissa Shields, one of the best fighters in the game. She just signed the biggest contract in women's professional boxing history. She's headed for a showdown next year with Savannah Marshall. Savannah Marshall is the only woman to beat Clarissa Shields in a boxing ring, and that was over nine years ago. I'm going with Clarissa in the rematch. And whatever happened to Ring City? Ring City was an NBC boxing show. They featured up and coming fighters. They fought in a lot of cool locations and they had some really great fights. They haven't been on the air in over six months and I'm hoping that they come back soon. That's it. That's around with me, George Jakovic. And because this is my show, I encourage you to go to my YouTube page, George Jakovic, J-A-K-O-V-I-C. You can see my content on that page. And the highlight of it is my show that I do with my daughter, George's Boxing Scrapbook Stories. See you soon.